Have you ever wondered why, despite being busy all day, you often go to bed feeling like you haven't accomplished anything meaningful? It's a common dilemma. But what if I told you that the secret to overcoming it lies in two tools that you already have? In fact, you don't just have both of them, you use both of them every single day. But you use them entirely wrong. Well, after this video, that won't be a problem ever again. Time is what we want most, but what we use worst. William Penn hit the nail on the head centuries ago. We all have the same 24 hours, but it's how we use those 24 hours that define our success and our fulfillment. So despite so many gurus talking about time management. Time management. And time management. Time management tips. Time management. Time management. How do we actually use our time wisely? The first tool is a clock. And the first step is when you start an activity, you start that clock. Now, I know this first step sounds basic, but bear with me. You are not just going to use any clock. You are going to use the one that you've designated for meaningful activities in your routine. Now, this isn't about counting every single second. This is about bringing awareness to how you are using your time. Next, I want you to track all the meaningful things that you do in your routine. This could be anything from focused work sessions to exercise, spending quality time with family, or self-care activities. The key here is meaningful activities that contribute to your overall goals or well-being. Now, after you identify what these things are that are actually meaningful to the future you, like I mentioned, it's going to be crucial to track these activities. I want you to use a notebook or a spreadsheet to track the duration of each task. When you start one of the activities in your routine, I want you to start your stopwatch. And when you finish that activity, I want you to stop your stopwatch. Now you're going to create designated sections in your spreadsheet or notebook where you're going to track each day and each time that you perform this activity. This habit will not only reinforce your commitment, but it will also provide you valuable insights into how you're actually using your time versus how you think you're using it. Over time, this tool is going to become a powerful weapon that'll allow you to redefine how you see your routine. This then allows you to allocate more time to the things that are actually meaningful, like we've been talking about, and actually move the needle towards the goals in your life. Now, the first tool is a clock or a stopwatch, but now we're going to get into the second tool, setting goals. Goals now give direction to how you spend your time. As we both know, without proper goals, it's easy to drift into unproductive habits. But with them, every action has a purpose. As I've mentioned in several other videos, your goals should always be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Suffice it to say that what gets measured gets accomplished. Now, this isn't just some catchy phrase. This is a principle backed by science. When you measure your progress, you're more likely to stay on track. This allows you to make adjustments as needed and ultimately helps you achieve your goal. Now, you might be asking, why does this matter? Well, because in the grand scheme of things, life is made up of all of these tiny moments. And it's how we choose to fill each one of these tiny moments that matters immensely. By starting an activity with a clock or a stopwatch, tracking meaningful actions and setting goals, we not only become the masters of our time, but we become the architects of our life. The bad news is, time flies. The good news is, you're the pilot. Michael Altshuler's words remind us that while time does fly, we have control over the throttle. So you need to seriously ask yourself, are you the pilot of your life or are you just a passenger sitting in a seat? Okay, imagine each day as a flight. Each task, each goal is a destination on your journey. Starting your day without a plan is like flying without a map. You might get somewhere, but is it where you actually wanted to go? Look. As I wrap this video up, I want you to start to think about how you're actually using your time. Are you using it to chase after goals that matter to you? Or are you just letting it slip through your fingers? I'm here to remind you that time is your most valuable asset, and it is finite. The tools I talk about today here are simple. A stopwatch to start your activities, and a goal of where you want to go. With both of these in mind, you're not just passing the time anymore. You're making every single second count towards building the life that you actually want. So what's stopping you? The time to start is now. Not tomorrow, not next week, this very moment. Because in the grand tapestry of life, every single stitch counts. And it's time that you take control of the needle. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation. And so what you can become, you must become.